Okay, guys, so we need the next big kid show on Nickelodeon. What are you guys thinking? Well, you know how kids, like, really like insects? About, um, um, something else. Something else that kids really like that'll bring action to it. Well, yeah, we should do a show about insects. And then we should have them have superpowers. Oh, uh, okay. And then the insects, and then the insects power the superpowers of people. Okay, so now we have a premise, but we need something to add a little spice to this. Um, Judy, what are you thinking? Oh, sorry. I was just looking through iPad. But for the love interest, we should have a triangle between the two characters and themselves. It should be a love square. No, a love octagon. Oh, love? Well, I don't think that one of them likes the other one in superhero form, but they don't know that they like them because when they're people, they don't know that they're superheroes. And then we can get a whole fandom on Wattpad to come together, and then they can start to create their own fan fictions about them. And then there could be a whole community of teenagers and young adults that also love the show! You got a deal! Hey guys, what is good guys? It's your girl, Faith, and welcome back to Faith Facts. So a couple weeks ago, I was talking with some of my friends, and I was asking them about some TV recommendations that they have for, you know, the series, and you know, summer's coming up, so we're gonna have a lot of time to watch TV after finals. And one of my friends suggested that I watch Miraculous. Late Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. I hear it's pretty popular. Uh, it's really popular. I hear that this is a show about um, a girl named a Marinette and a boy named Adrian who are superheroes and they live in Paris. I don't want the fandom to come for me. There's, I don't, I don't know if I can handle the fandom. Cause from what I hear, from what my friend who is in the miraculous fandom says, they are die hard about that show. They will die on a hill saying that Marriott and Adrian should be together. So like, I don't want to ruffle too many feathers, but I haven't seen the show since seventh grade. <laughs> I watched it on Nickelodeon whenever it was on. You know, it was a fun show, fun to watch. I liked the characters. And then I kind of collectively forgot about it and never watched it again. Until today, we're going to watch Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. But instead of watching just one episode in the beginning of the series or one new episode, we're going to go smack in the middle. And we are going to watch a random episode in the middle of the whole series to see what it is and see if I actually understand what's going on. Probably won't. Um, tell me in the comments what you guys think of Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. And we'll get into it. A few moments later. Hey. Hey. Yeah, so I took a break in filming. Uh, filmed this a couple weeks ago. And then my phone died and I never got back to it. So we're going to talk about episode 5 of season 2 part 2? Season 2 part 1. This episode was... Pretty interesting. I actually pretty much liked it. Uh, like I said before, I have watched a bunch of episodes of Miraculous, but not in any particular order as I just watch it randomly sometimes when it's on Nickelodeon. This episode was about how Marionette, which is the main character who is Ladybug, but no one else knows that except for her best friend, is designing a hat for one of Gabrielle de Terror. I don't think I'm saying that right. Oh, one of his fashion shows for Adrian to wear and she's kind of insecure about it, like thinking that it's not gonna be up to style. But then one of the greatest fashion designers in the world, who is also Chloe, who is um, Marionette's enemy, is there. And Chloe is 
trying to get her mom's attention, but her mom is kind of like a stuck-up fashion designer and doesn't really have time for Chloe. But then Gabriel, who is Adrian's father, sends out a Azuma, which is an evil butterfly because he is a villain, to the fashion show to kind of infect the famous uh, supermodel fashion designer. To kind of infect the fashion designer and make her like his evil clone thing that listens to him. And this villain is freezing everyone and firing them as the stuck up fashion designer would to get Ladybug and Cat Noir together so that he can, I guess, kill them? Well, maybe not kill them because this is a kid show, but like take their powers but what he doesn't know is that cat noir is his son and his son is frozen in the gold so he can't transform into cat noir i'm sorry if i'm saying any of the names wrong but marinette turns into ladybug and she tries to defeat the gold villain yeah she tries to defeat her but it's pretty hard because her ladybug yo-yo does not go through it goes straight through her like it goes straight through the villain and she can freeze anyone into gold statue with like this gold glitter staff that she has and she freezes Adrian and she freezes a bunch of other people that she fires up until they get to the Eiffel Tower where the villain has frozen Adrian and put him in like a glass dome or something then Mariette gets some help from her instructor. I did not catch his name, so I'll put it in right here, where he gives her the power of the bee miraculous, because each of the miraculous, well, each of them, the superheroes, have a miraculous, which is like a little talking animal spirit. Oh, uh, I think that's what it's supposed to be. And she says to give it to someone, aka Merritt's best friend to turn into the Bumblebee Miraculous so that they can defeat the supervillain. But just as Merritt is, well, Ladybug is about to give it to her, the villain freezes her best friend and the box in which the Mer Miraculous, in which the Miraculous is in, falls off the Eiffel Tower and it falls down the stairs. So now, Marriott's on her own, but she has like superpower where she can use a lucky charm, which is any type of tool that can be used in a battle. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I sound like a crazy person. I know. One of the lucky charms that Marriott gets is a bottle of glue. How do I use a bottle of glue to defeat this glittery villain? And then she figures it out. She puts glue onto the flag that is hanging off of the Eiffel Tower and grabs the pole and then swings it at her so that all the glue catches onto the glitter. And I was thinking, that's pretty clever. But then she defeats her, but only with the power of Cat Noir's Miraculous. After he almost destroys half of Paris in a cyclone. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But he defeats him. He defeats the villain in a cyclone. And Adrian is broken out of the cone glass gold thing. And then he sees Ladybug. And he kind of has a crush on Ladybug if I've read all of the fan theories right. So he gets a swing back to the fashion show from Ladybug and it's like super cute and everything. But then Mariette, when she transforms back into Mariette, she forgets that she left the box with the bee miraculous at the Eiffel Tower. And then when she goes to get it, her parents find her and take her back to the fashion show. So then guess who finds the miraculous and takes it home? Chloe. Oh, did I forget to mention that Chloe and Adrian are supposed to be dating? Yeah. This whole show is very confusing. I think that this show is 
pretty good. Okay, don't come for me. Don't come for me. I said it was pretty good. I mean, it kind of reminds me of like a Saturday morning cartoon. Like, you know how old people talk about how like they had Teenage Ninja Turtles and like He-Man in the 80s that they'd watch on Saturday mornings? It kind of feels like it's in the vein of that. Like a cheesy superhero cartoon that people enjoy. Not just little kids, but teenagers, adults, kids' parents, and uh, I do kind of ship Adrian and Marinette. That's about all I have to say, though. Uh, if I were to give this a rating, because of course in random episodes, at the end we always give a rating of 10 out of 10. For Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, I would give it a Eight. I mean, I, at times it was a little bit cheesy, but everything else was a-okay with me. Well, that's the end of the video! That's the end of the video. So if you like this video, you already know what to do. It's on the screen already. And comment below what you think of Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. And if I did get anything wrong, please tell me in the comments. I love you guys for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.